YouTube. This is a video on some tactical gloves. This isn't something I normally do, but I decided to try this out. Uh, we're looking at two different pairs of gloves here. I just got these in today, actually. These are the uh, Pig FTD gloves from SKD. I believe it's the manufacturer. A couple of stickers that it comes with. And then let's just get this on the bag. Yeah, I don't know what Boobies and Chuck Norris has to do with anything. Um, no foreplay, no reach around, no cuddling. Point click, shift. And then. Yeah, I don't know what this is about. But it comes with. I, I actually just read these. Um, okay, well, I don't know what this has to do with tactical clubs, but okay. Anyway, so I've been hearing a lot of talk. Alright, time to be serious now. So I've been hearing a lot of talk about these gloves. I've been looking for some good looking new tactical gloves or just something to wear outside uh, when we're out shooting. Now, if you follow my channel, you've probably seen these. Uh, you can tell about how worn out and wrinkled and dusty these are. Um, Again, if you follow my channel, you'll you'll see these pretty much all my videos. I have these gloves on. These are from 511. These are pretty much the bottom line of most of their gloves. They've got quite a bit on their line. So today I'm just going to do kind of a comparison between them. And I know I'm going to get this question a lot. So um, this is basically all it comes with, or it comes sorry, it comes in. Um, just this thing here and that's it and inside you're gonna get the gloves it does come with the tag that holds them together like just stickers and of course your invoice is gonna be here and this is what I paid for right here okay now for five extra bucks you can get the alpha touch which is uh, slightly different to my knowledge it's a slightly different uh, end for your fingers. Now, I don't remember the name of their channel, but you, if you're a gun owner and if you watch gun videos on YouTube, you've probably seen them. It's um, Range Time with uh, somebody in Erica, I think is their channel name. Or are there, uh, I can't remember the guy's name, but it's uh, Erica and somebody or another. And Erica, in the video, did a um, kind of a review on these uh, gloves, too. This is where I heard about them. Did some reading up on them, and apparently that there is some military that uses them. Um, you know, I can't really confirm that, but I've seen some pictures of them wearing. But a lot of um, competition shooters have used these, so I decided to give them a shot. Uh, the 511 gloves here, again, these are the cheapy ones. I got these for maybe 15, 20 bucks at Academy. I've had these for quite a while. Uh, I've gone through about three of these so far. It's a very, I don't want to call it a cheap material, but this part here does get worn down pretty quick. Uh, not saying that these won't because I just got these in today, but I guess we'll find out soon enough. One thing that you do have to keep in mind when getting gloves is I just buy pretty much whatever's on the shelf. Now these were ordered, so there was a chance that I was getting something that didn't fit. They do have on uh, SKD's uh, website, and if you go to there, it'll tell you how to measure your hand. I believe it's from the top of your middle finger down to uh, like right where your wrist is. These are actually an extra large, so these are a little bit loose on my hand. And these, they did recommend that I get the large, so these are the large, and it fits me a lot better. I'll put these on here in a minute to kind of get you an idea of what they uh, look like. Now, there's not a whole lot that I can say. Uh, there's kind of an uh, interesting thing to do a review on. I don't think that there's very many reviews on just pieces of clothing, but considering what this is marketed for, I guess I could see some reviews. And I haven't seen a whole lot of reviews on these, so I decided to try them, and uh, of course I have to share it with YouTube and all that stuff, so 
Uh, let's put these on right quick and give you a quick comparison. Okay, I don't have my tripod with me, so this is going to be a little interesting, but this is the pig glove on my left. Uh, one of the main things that you see a lot of is people wondering about how you can make fists and, um, you know, things like that. It does seem like this is a little tight on me. Maybe just me, but um, in a way I think that it's probably best to have these a little tight. But I think that's going to be mainly up to you. Now you don't have any kind of knuckle covers or anything like that. It is padded. Uh, it feels decent, but it's not going to be something I mean, I think you'd be hitting your knuckles on or anything. But it's got a soft padding, um, very thin amount of padding on there. Uh, as you can see, it's very easy to make a grip. You're not straining or anything like that. Um, fingers feel good. I mean, you should be able to tell just by the movement of it. It's, it's not too bad. Uh, the holes on there, you can see through your, or you can see through your skin. And that's pretty much all the way up here. Um, I love the way they feel, I love the way they look. You can get these in black, and I think uh, Ranger Green is the color that they call it. And um, really about all I can say, the strap kind of just goes right there on the side. And then you do have this little doohickey. I'm assuming that you use this to pull it down to adjust it. I'm sure you could probably hook something on there. Uh, I don't know what the intended purpose is for it, but it's there. Now, just for a comparison, again, these are the 511 gloves. You've seen me wear these. Um, these, are, these are pretty dirty. Now, these do seem a lot lighter, mainly because they are. The material is, I'm going to say it's probably thinner. It's a very, very plain fit glove. There's really no features to it, none, next to none, I guess. As far as the glove itself, I mean, again, it's easy to make a fist. It's, um, you know, it's... It's very flexible, you know, just to say the least. Um, it's all flat here on the material. And the strap goes all the way around the Velcro. goes all the way over. It does not have that little, uh, whatever you call it, that the these gloves do. And again, they, these are just very basic. Now, um, back to the pig gloves here. A couple things that I want to point out. Now, the website does not exactly advertise this, but the channel that I mentioned earlier, uh, Range Time with Erica and whatever that guy's name is, uh, I'll uh, link them in the description below uh, after I post the video, because I just I cannot for the life of me remember who what that guy's name is. Anyway, for the five extra dollars that I mentioned for the Alpha Touch, I, the website really, unless I missed it, did not say much about what the Alpha Touch is supposed to do. All I know is is that it costs you know, like around five, maybe ten more dollars than what these costs. But they were out of stock when I ordered them. It only had the standard, which is these here. Now, to my knowledge, <clears throat> on their channel, they were advertising that you could still use these gloves with your smartphone. Now. What I'm going to do right quick is use these gloves to just kind of scroll through, I guess. Well, you can see, I mean, I can still use my iPhone, or my Samsung here. Maybe. Okay, so they advertised that you can still text using these gloves with the Alpha Touch, but it seems to me that you can still operate this fine well for the most part you can still operate this without the extra touch it may be a little easier for all I know so just for comparison, we're gonna text my friend Lewis here and this is a little more difficult to do because I don't have my um, tripod so we're just gonna type him a message here hey man and that's good enough, and then we'll press send. Okay, now, just for the sake of comparison, let's try it with the 511 gloves. Camera right there. 
Okay, so it's obviously possible to text with both gloves, but not to degrade or to attack anyone on their channel, or I guess the intended purpose of the Alpha Touch. There's not a lot that I can say, mainly because I don't have them, but if anybody knows what the more intended purchase, um, purchase if anybody knows the intended purpose of the Alpha Touch, please let me know. Because in my opinion, if the Alpha Touch is just to let your, or just to enable you to use your iPhone more or your smartphone, it's kind of a dumb feature that I really would not want to pay five whatever extra dollars on a pair of tactical gloves. You know, to me, in my mind, I just think that that's a dumb feature. I mean, I could see the use of it or the handiness of it, but in, in a pair of shooting gloves, I just don't see that being useful. But nonetheless, without the Alpha Touch, you can still operate it, and if you have the patience, you can still text. But that's just as far as that goes. I'm not going to spend any more time on that. So, all in all, out of my experience in purchasing these, I'm not bad on the price. They're not ridiculously high like some products are. Um, it got in in about three days. If you're patient, <laughs> uh, it does not take long. Um, I was expecting a little more than just this little deal because literally when you open it, these gloves are just sitting in there. Um, it's got the tag on it. Of course, the uh, stickers. Um, if anybody else gets these, read these on the back to see if these are any different. I'm still not exactly sure what this is supposed to be, but nonetheless, hopefully you get a good laugh out of that. And then, of course, your uh, invoice, and that's about it. Last thing that I'm going to say about these is that on the website, <clears throat> there is a box that says something along the lines of, um, I'm just going to paraphrase here, to inspect the gloves thoroughly before you remove the tag and that's mainly just because if you remove that tag you cannot return these so what I would strongly recommend doing is unless you know exactly what glove you wear check on the size they have a little hand that gives you the measurements I believe from the tip of my middle finger to the wrist I think it's like eight inches on me or so uh, that categorizes as a large, which is this one right here. Um, I can direct the website. I'll put the website and all that information in the description below. Uh, of course, on that uh, little box, again, it just says to, you have to check that before you can actually place the order, but that's mainly all it says. So if you're worried about having to return these, do not break the little uh, plasticky thing that you know, you'll, you'll know it. So just don't break that up if you're afraid that you have to return them. So hopefully here soon we can get out with a range and try these out for real. I want to try to preserve these as long as possible. I don't really want to get rough with them. Um, maybe eventually I'll buy another pair, but we'll see. That's really about all I have to say about these. There's not a lot that I can really get in depth to on a pair of gloves. I do recommend them. As far as just, I guess, first impressions, and they're, they're comfortable. I guess a five, <laughs> five star experience. Uh, the shipping was fast, satisfied with the product, uh, got a really good laugh with the um, cards here. I would have been more comfortable if they put these and maybe like wrapped them in plastic or something, but you know, I'm not gonna knock them for that. Any questions or concerns, feel free to let me know. And again, I will list more information in the description. Feel free to comment or leave a personal message. That's it for today, and have a good one.